everyone and welcome to Jurassic World the game. You thought it was over? Of course not. What are you talking about? I've been playing this so much. I actually have it. <laughs> and I'm regretting now cancelling my VIP membership. But what's done is done. I can't make, I can't, I'm not going to go. And I'm not going to go by. What is with my hair? I look like I've got a shark's fin for, for me hair. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Call me Mr. Webby! Kind of regretting cancelling my VIP, but I did it for a good reason. Um, I did it because there was literally no point in me spending money on the game. And if I was going to spend money, I'd rather just save, like, you know, spend it on a pack or, or books or something, rather than getting this VIP, which does give you double VIP points, but I've never really needed that much. As you see, everything I've got in the game plus 231,000. But we've got some new things coming. As you know, biggest thing to do now is to max up. We There's a new new cap. We waited, what, three years or something ridiculous for a new level cap? Uh, but we've also got this guy um, because we only had a level 20. Uh, unfortunately, it is another carnivore um, and nothing can be done really about that. Uh, I should have another building. Do I not? Yes, there we go. I think that was part of the mission. I think to have five new buildings, um, we'll get another one. And I did not speed these up because books now are so hard to come by. That's, again, one of the reasons why I just never... I, I, there was no reason for me to have VIP because books, they were, they just I didn't want to support them anymore because they were just taking books out more and more so. And there wasn't any need for it. The only reason they took books out was to annoy the player to make the game last longer um, for more of a grind. Whereas when this game first came out, it was like, oh wow, you know, how can we, how can we see how to get more books, or how can we, you know, get the best creatures faster? Now there's no way. They took they took books out, I think, for the majority of packs or a lot of them, and now I think in the infinite battle you can no now no longer. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, we got one of these. Also, yeah, one good thing. Not too long ago. Uh, last week, I think, they had a double super DNA event where every, like, this is 10, I think, or is it 5? It would be 20. And uh, not only that, but the missions as well, instead of giving you 20, gave you 40. Instead of giving you 5, give you 10. Just anything you would normally get, doubled. So, I managed to get the, um, spy, what's this, Kappa Suchitada thing? Um, what, so we have a new, um hybrid to get. Uh, what's good about that is um, now that whenever we need another one, it'll be half price. So instead of 10,000 or 2,000 it was, it'll be 1,000. I think it was probably about 2,000. Oh, there you go! Still have to yet to work out whether if it's a better creature you get more DNA. It does appear to be that way. So we got five there. Um, and if we want to... So if we have a look at our DNA. We've got um, 700... Sorry, not 700, 567 DNA away from another Indoraptor. Uh, Monolophosaurus is only like 99 DNA away. Sarcosuchus, I'm not too sure. Maybe we could get that one. Um, but Capra Sutra, 2,249. Woo! We got that. We got that. My God, it took us ages since that was released to get that. But I think that's, I could be wrong, but I think that's enough uh, to get it. So I'm just going to see what else we can get. Another five. Okay. It's, now you see that's an Allosaur, and that was still five DNA, um, and we only got what was it like fifty DNA from uh, doing prion sutures and getting it all the way. Uh, let's see how much we get out of this. This is a rare, and we're probably going to get a lot more. Actually, it does seem to be. It seems to be a lot easier. Although saying that, I don't know. It seems to be exactly the same. Fifteen. We've got two more. We're probably going to get over 100, though. How much is that? 20. And then this will be 25, right? There you go. Okay, so, yeah, we got... I think we got more there. We got 90 DNA. It's not too much. Again, it is just five. And the final one, 10! Is it a hearted dinosaur? Yes. So, it does appear that way. What you could do, actually, is collect all your coin then put your dinosaurs away except for like three good ones and then just get this and therefore your chances i think of getting higher super dna are raised so instead of getting five you might get 10 instead of getting 10 you might get 15. -hoo -hoo! but also you get dna as well from these and that's what's important already we've got 90. 
And I've just failed it right there. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, we could have got a lot there. We could have got like 400 DNA from this. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that gives us another 15. So we got more. And then this one. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> still failed. Oh, well, there we go. Really, we still got 10 Monolophosaurus DNA, and that's what's important. Um, we've got a lot of DNA to collect from this, but uh, we need to... Yeah, we've got that in here. Now, we could speed that up, but that's 120 bucks. So, you know what? Every so often, um, we'll get, like, a couple of bucks off that, so we'll leave that till we've done a lot here. Uh, I've got, you know, I'll get some DNA since we can't get bucks. But if we go over to Isla Sauna, you'll notice it looks very different. All John Hammonds! And not only that, but we've got two more excavation sites. Hoo -hoo. And another one, which put us over halfway there. Um, now, the thing is, I didn't want... To, I wanted to sort of do an outline. Um, but then they sort of added these extra bits, which is very odd. Um, see, you've got a bit there as well, which is an outline, I guess. But, it is, I mean, as long as we keep that huge chunk in the middle, I'll be happy. So, we're on almost there. We're halfway there to 83. So, hopefully this game doesn't crash. There's a high chance it will. Um, but let's just see how many we can get here. Just click all the John Hammonds. Spared no expense. I mean, there's probably statues that give you more uh, XP. But for the amount that you can place, there you go. Level 83. We didn't get a crash. So we got a new expansion and a mystery pack for 50 plus levels. 300 DNA, a little bit of food, and a Dilophosaurus plus 50. So we'll take that. Now, can we get up to level 84? I think we can. Have a guess. With all the John Hammonds, can we get... I mean, all these so far was about half, right? So we've got all of these. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Or is it? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it won't be close. Maybe I don't think we can get to level 85. We can probably do 84, though. Ooh, just slowly, slowly creeping up. Oh, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. And I repeated it for the fourth time. I think we've done it. But when we're just gonna miss level 85. There it is, 84. So we've got one more level, and I think we've maxed. So there's another mystery pack. I'll take it. Long ago the days when I would stay up deliberately just to uh, collect a mystery pack and then go back to sleep. Oh, the good old days. But let's have a look. I think we're probably gonna get halfway. And... If I really wanted to, I could place more down, sell them, place more down, sell them. In the next episode, we'll probably get to level 85. So yeah, look all that already. So we've got two more expansions. We are over halfway, so I think this probably costs coin. Yep, we got coin and coin, so it's another two million. And then this will probably cost, yeah, it'll probably cost their books. So we don't need to worry about that. But, and another mystery pack, so ooh, 30 bucks. Ooh, what can we do? What can we do? We've got events to do. Um, also, yes, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Have I got... Um, we'll go into incubations. We'll go into super hybrids. Uh, we'll go into Spinosuchus. Um, I need to go to Spinoraptor. So, let's have a look. Spinoraptor. We'll go to hybrids. Spinoraptor. Go to fuse. Oh, oh, hold on. I need another one. Oh, right, because we need to fuse it before we can... Ah, so we're not hatching. Okay, so we will speed this up. Damn it, that was a hundred bucks! <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be 140 and another 120. Oh, thank God. But the good news is, we could keep another level 20, or we could fuse these together to make a level 30. Are we tempted? Not this video, we gotta keep that clickbait. <laughs> no, today's clickbait is the new uh, Spandasuchus. Um, is it Spandasuchus? So fuse it. Oh, there it is. Here we go. How much is it? 80. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I'm done first time. Are you ready? Never before gotten in the game. Spiner to suit you. So at level 1, 810 attack, 1,440 health. Um, no, I don't want to sell it. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm so used to left being accept. 
Damn this game and its ways of trying to make you like waste time so you have to do it all again. So at level 10, 1215 attack and 2160 health. Um, at level 20, it's gonna be badass. At level 40, it's gonna be badass. So let's see. Claim some food. The super hybrid was created to test for aquatic adaptations left dormant in the raptor bloodline. I think you'd be going quite far back if you were trying to do that legit. So there we go. We'll take all of those. Some more XP and some super DNA because I did some events yesterday. Um, we do have a mission as well, actually. Buy and place five new buildings. What's the cheaper? What is built instantly? It's probably going to be all the way over here, isn't it? It's going to be those little security towers. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, we did it. But we still need to collect three million coin from buildings. Um, but in order to do so, I need to spend that. So we're going to go into here and we're just going to click on this one until we've got... I mean, until we've done it maybe about five times. At the moment, I haven't been doing this just because all of the coin that I've gotten, I've wanted to spend on the John Hammond statues because I just want to reach that max. Um, because we have leveled up twice, we will have the infinite battle um, ready to go. Now, people have said, or at least I've seen posted, that somebody's done the infinite battle and got a legendary plus pack, which is what I think the new legendary pack is if you want to buy it, which is about 50 quid or something ridiculous. So maybe Ludia have been a little bit generous and they've decided to say, you know what? We'll allow you. We'll allow you to win the infinite battle packs again, like good ones. The only problem is that they're going to be super hard as well. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they are there, but even if they are there, it's going to cost me probably a couple of hundred bucks to get it. And the chances of me winning books in that pack, I think they are guaranteed, but I need to, I, it's going to be like 500 bucks you'll win and I'll need to spend, depending on what dinosaurs I need. And if I've done any events, like, oh, like thousands in some cases. So there we go. We've got 37 million. Will we be able to do a mission? Well, let's see what we get. Please get a pack. Yeah, I guess that's okay. That's not, that's not a bad one. So now we'll click on this. Will we do it? Yeah, there we go. And that's 69,000. So, achoo. Paper records covered in dust. I had to go digging around like some kind of paleontologist. I think you mean archaeologist. No, I mean paleontologist because only a dinosaur uses paper records. Hey! <laughs> and we've got another one. I can't tell you how close the, the wild raptors are to blue or the children. There's no sign of a struggle, so we know that they haven't run into each other. The kids are safe with Blue, but I- are they? But I don't want them caught in the middle of a raptor fight. Shh! Do you hear something? It's a mission! Collect two million coins from pterosaurs at level 31 or higher. That should be pretty easy, actually. Uh, and there we go. We got some mods, so it's a little bit more DNA. Should we- does this count as expansion? It does count as expansion. Um, I'm tempted. Should we get him to level 30? I mean, if I click evolve, I as soon as I click start, right, that's what counts it. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, level 30? You know what? Because we're having to have fights with dinosaurs that are so high level, we need every high level creature that we can afford. So 160, 162, we're just going to have to do it. It's a loss in the books. Not really too fussed about DNA because I've got a lot of dinosaurs. Oh, God, fussed about that. I've got a lot of dinosaurs that if I need to... I could always just sell and get the DNA that way. There we go, level 30. And I knew I said I was going to click. Yeah, we can clickbait them both. Put them both in the thumbnail. There you go. So, uh, ooh, a more bioluminescent version. So, at level 30, 1,743 attack and 3,875 health. Now, if we wanted to get level 40, we would have to buy four more, which really isn't worth it. So, we're not going to do that. But... We get some books rewards for that, or about a hundred. Uh, powerful in shallow water, Alogamous will sometimes drag prey into shallow pools to gain an environmental advantage. <laughs> I'm in water. I've got 50% extra attack. <laughs> okay, so that's that's good. Uh, we'll see what he's like in our roster now. But let's do the battle stage 82. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's still not as good as a level 10 Indoraptor. Oh, wow. Okay, so at level 40, he would probably go above all the level 40 VIPs. But look at Pritrodon still higher. 
and it has more more health and like what is that 13 less attack it has over it has almost 1000 extra health and 13 less attack Pyrotodon's way better that's interesting okay well anyway we're gonna do these battles and we're gonna do an aquatic one because for the next hour we get 10% discount on any aquatic creature in the market so we, we need to have a look at that Alog Alo Alogomimus will put him in an Indorapt Indominus Rex level. There we go. In level 30, sorry. So, oh, we can't. I did, I did wonder. <laughs> You're gonna get 50%, not double. Yeah, he's gonna switch. Ooh, that attack for level 10. Segna Sutures is so good, but it's also dead. Because he went, oh, oh, he had a block. But he's dead in two anyway, so. Whether they're together or split up, does make a difference. So, I'm gonna go for factoring one just in case. There you go. Bloop. Usually, the safest thing to do is factor in two. Right, so he's not gonna... He could kill me if he went for four. But it's not guaranteed. And this one's not guaranteed. Either. Oh, there it is. There's the guaranteed. So, it brings in... A Logamus. Oh, look at it there. Bioluminescent glory. So we'll go for two and then four reserves because we pretty much won. Doesn't matter what happens here. We'll just speed that up. And he has two. He could kill me in two, but I do have like four possible blocks. So he might not go for it. And he doesn't. Meaning that we get to go for a full on eight doing a 17,000 damage if we do it. And he did block for two, so we don't get two. But we do get to see it's time, well, it's 8 animation. Ooh, 10,000, look at that. Two block, almost half my attack was blocked there. Or at least third in total. So there you go. Whoa, 170, so here we go. Battle stage, 82 pack. What do we get? Oh, I th what, we got a T-Rex, 2,500. We got a T-Rex and a Zalmoxis. Wow. Oh, that was really good. And 650, which would have been doubled if we VIP. And the next one is 7,000. So what we got? 7,000, then a Super DNA. And the last one is just an Acanthus Dagger. What a shame. Well, anyway, let's. we'll do one more of these. We could do two. We could do two. Safest one here is actually carnivores. And by howdy do we have a lot of carnivores. Soprano Titan, Concavenator, and Acrocanthosaurus. Your time to shine. It's blue versus red. Could go for two. Not gonna kill me. It would have been close though. Now because all, like, I've, I've won this. Even though all his dinosaurs are kind of similar except for Apatosaurus, who's a complete tank. Um, and because my team is all carnivores he's basically only got two dinosaurs to use and wow i didn't even know this is hell you can almost kill him in one factored in like three just to be safe and down it goes and as soon as we got rid of that metrocanthosaurus the only threat now is eudemorphodon and that's the way you need to look at their roster so have a team that basically nullifies one of the dinosaurs then at least you've got a three against two so, he, I think he went for quite a lot there. So, I'm going to factor in two just in case because as long as we get rid of this, a Padasaurus is a cakewalk. And there you go. It does have a lot of health, dies in almost two, and has no attack. So, a Concavenator, it's, it's, good, it's as good as one. Even if he blocked all of this, to kill me, he would have to go for five or six attack. And even then, that would be all of his attacks. So, there we go. 170. And 7,000 DNA! Push me back to 1,600. So the next one would be a ample DNA pack. What do we got? 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, and 2,000. So we get a lot. Um, but we need to do this. What's Dino Bugs? Ooh! But in the Dino Bugs pack, how much does it give you? 30, 30, 30, 30. So what's that? 120 bucks? For, for three rounds of... 20,000 health, 7,000 attack. Come on. No, you fix it. Come on. That's ridiculous. Okay, but we're going to do Monsters of the Deep. Because I need to check. Uh, oh, no. We got Gen 2 Fury. Oh, we need to do Gen 2 Fury. Because we've only got a day and we never see these packs of Lost Rock Gen 2. Okay, so. Same frame of mind here. Um, the weakest one is... Um, Tojangosaurus. Even though it's level 200, it's supposed to be like 2,000, I think. But they couldn't do it. Um, 
I think with the other battles, infinite battles, you can have commons that are 2,000, but with events, you can't get them. So the game tried to make it a level 2,000 Tijongasaurus. Couldn't, because look at it. Um, uh, so basically, it's two against one. So we can nullify one of those dinosaurs by bringing in its weakness, which would be a Tyrannodon. So, uh, or an amphibian. In this case, an amphibian is probably a be better way to go. So if we go for a full team of amphibians, we're basically one. The Tijongasaurus can't do anything. The Acrocanthosaurus already gets its attacks halved, and we're done. So with that in mind, uh, we don't die in one, sorry, two hits, so we may as well reserve. His best case scenario is to switch him out into the Sarcosuchus. Now, if we kill the Sarcosuchus, now this is perfect. He's only got one possible block. Um, we can't kill him, so I'm going to go for one block myself and two reserves because he can't kill me in one. Yes, he could have killed me if he'd reserved there, and that would have been bad because if he had done that... Um, actually, even if he had done that, I could have killed him. So we'll go for... Ooh, you know what? Because we've got... All of our amphibians are pretty similar. Um, we'll just go for four reserves. Because what I want him to do is go for a load of attack. And there you go. That's it. Game one. At this point, Sarkasukas is out. And then the other two are easy to kill. So that's killed him. I just in case he had one extra which I, I yeah i'm pretty sure he didn't but we'll go for it anyway and there you go poor tishongasaurus comes in steaming ready to attack switches out for something that doesn't have the type advantage but has a lot more attack goes for three does kill me um i think he had four so he's got nothing he's got nothing um even though it looks like it's quite close it's not uh it's dead and i'm gonna go for that just in case because I think Tijongasaurus will probably attack. He only has 900 health. He's dead in one. Even if he blocks for four, I've got my one reserve. Doesn't matter what he does. There you go. I can hit him for two. And we'll just go for five. And there you go. Because I had somebody on Twitter uh, ask me, Oh, Beavers, I'm struggling with uh, Jurassic World the game. I've been playing it for, for years. But um, I've never progressed through this level or whatever. So... I thought in today's episode will be helpful a little bit. We'll talk through the strategy. So here we go. The weakest is actually Stegoceratops. Um, so we got a similar situation here, but we don't want amphibians because of that Zing Zing Beijing. What's it called? Zhejiangopterus. Zhejiangopterus. I'm assuming Chinese. But anyway, and Guanlong as well. I think it's also Chinese. Um, we want herbivores, but then we don't because Guanlong's pretty tough. It's, t it's a tough one. It really is. I think we're just going to have to go for carnivores. So something like Indoraptor, Indoraptor, and then Pritrodon. I think that's gold. So I'm even though I can kill him, I'm not going to. Because I could probably be killed in two hits. And I'd rather take this turn. To, yeah, because if I kill them, my Indoraptor level 20 would be out. So I'm going to go for two block here, making sure that I've survived. Because if he had three, which he does, he can't kill me. It depends what he does here. Right, okay. Now, because my Interaptor level 20 is my prized possession, I'm going to switch out to something that has half the attack and go for three reserves. Now, he has six. One, two, three, four. He'll go for five, knowing that I can only block for three. So he's got one block. Now, this is where I can take out that pesky Guanlong. Once Guanlong's gone, I'm open to sweep. So one, two, three... Factor in the one extra, and then three reserves. And there it was, the one extra. Now, Guanla, sorry, Zigzibibu. Zing Zing Bu Zing Zing has 2,906 attack. So what do we do? He goes for four, uh, and that's it, we won. Because he has no block, no reserves. Uh, I can kill the Stegoceratops in one hit. Uh, we kill it in two. You know what? Just to be safe, I'll factor in one extra. Then I know that Stegoceratops can't kill me in two can't kill me in four, I don't think. It has like 100 attack? 200 attack! Yeah, there we go. We're getting quite lucky, actually. We're getting a really low level creature, which is, makes it basically 2v 3v2. And we'll just go for that. Only only annoying thing with this is it's four matches and not three. It would have been nicer to have only had three. Um, but you could look at it as you get more DNA. 
Right, again. Beautiful. Deplotated. Bringing the team down. The Stegosaurus not, though. <laughs> Jesus. Um, 10,000 health. So we need carnivores. Even though the carnivore is weak to Deplotator, does it matter? No. <laughs> so we'll put in uh, another... Well, actually, tell you what. We'll put Indoraptor in last. So Indoraptor, then Rajasteger, even though it's not really that great, and then an Indoraptor level 20. And that's us done. Now, even though it has a type advantage, 500 attack in comparison to Stegosaurus's, what... 3,000? Oh, or that 3,000. Oh, he does go for it, which is great. Awesome. We can take him out right now. One, two, and then one reserve. We could have blocked, so Diplotator couldn't kill us. But there's a chance that if he goes for two, which actually I want him to, he could kill me. Oh, he, sw he switches. Oh, and Stegosaurus can't... He's just that much out. So... Luckily, I can kill Stegosaurus with uh, three. So we'll go for that. Even if you block for one, couldn't do anything. And there you go. Wow. That was, that's the ideal team there. Really. I mean, if, do you, I'm just trying to wonder. I'm trying to wonder and it's hard. <laughs> um, if you have, if you're not up to level 85, what are the super DNA, um, code 19s that you get do they still give you five do they still give you 10 because i don't think i did anything that would you know if a regular player who was not as high a level as me um you know did all the super dna events they could have all the interrupters that i could have and let's say your best creature was a level 20 indominus rex at the time you get level 10 interrupter bam like that is that puts your team average up so much and it's really quick to come back so the final one um the t-rex brings it down which is great uh, metrophodon is probably the best thing to use here but that pterodostra we do uh maybe a herbivore yeah herbivore herbivores and flyers are the best here so whatever i put in he's going to switch out to whatever it's weak to or has an advantage against so if i put in segna uh he'll bring in metro metrorancus if I put in Metrophodon, he'll bring in Pterodostro. <laughs> I, am I risking it? Not really. <laughs> but we'll just put him in there for the giggles. So, uh, Pterodostro can't come in one hit, so I think I'm pretty happy going for that. And the T-Rex is 405 damage, which is still a lot for 1,200 health. So there you go. He goes for one. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. So that means that I can go for one attack and two block, meaning that I've survived. Well, I didn't even need to put in Segna Sutures. Again, Ludia, please, if I don't use the creature, don't have it used up. Because I don't think I'm going to use Segna Sutures here. Oh, I could have went for one block. I could have went for one block there. So he had only two. I kill him in one hit. So um, I'm just going to go for three. And there you go. Bam. Metrovodon killed them all. And the T-Rex actually will be able to kill me, I think. I think it will be. It'll be close. Wait, he doesn't even... Oh, my God. Why? I think he might have been able to kill me. And there you go. A sweep from the Metrophodon. Beautiful. Okay. And there you go. Velociraptor Gen 2. We've only ever opened up one of those packs before. 100 bucks, which I guess isn't too bad. And the Velociraptor Gen 2 bringing that guy uh, up to level 20, I think. Hold on. Let's hatch it. If we go to carnivores, it'll probably be at the end, will it? No, it's not. There it is. One day. There we go. So that'll take that. Very good. And 30. If that was double super DNA, that would have been a 60. Oh, that'd be so good. Can we just keep it? Can we have another one? Okay, so let's have a look at aquatics. So what can we buy? What is worth getting maxed up? We've got 10% discount. So the more we spend, the more we save. Um, and there is a lot of aquatic battles going on. Not so much Glacier, although I think they're, they're probably 50-50. But for me, anyway, it feels like there's more aquatics than Glaciers. So let's have a look. Um, I do have one, and its highest level is 40. Uh, I do have one, its highest level is 10. The reason for that is probably that, um, it's, uh, whatchamacallit? It's it's a surface, and I was like, I don't need another surface. But if I've only got one, and it's only level 10, it makes sense. I save 6,000 DNA. Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom! 
Uh, I'm not gonna... And you know, 10 bucks? Let's put in six days, that's fine. It doesn't take up the the immediate slot, which is what you don't want it to do if it takes that long. Okay, Dacoderma. My highest level is level 30. Um, that's, ooh. I need to buy four to get level 40. Um, another surface? We've got level 20 of that, but it's a surface again, not really worth it. This guy? We've got three, and our highest level is level 30. Interesting. Uh, ooh, stuff like the tournament creatures could be pretty decent. I use U-Moon quite a bit. Yeah, let's have a look at these guys. So the... I don't have Archelon anymore, because I think I fused it for its hybrid, I think? I don't know what that was. It was probably... Probably that, um... Mega Archelon, yeah, the shark. Is there anything here that I could go for? I've only got one. And that's a Rizodus. But for saving, like, a tiny bit of DNA, it doesn't seem worth it. I don't have lead 60s. I want lead 60s! It looks so good. Hoof. We could have a hoof. Should we get a hoof? At level 40, it only has 500 attacks. It's, it's probably not worth it. We're probably better going for a hybrid. Uh, any of these? Prognathodon, Tyler... Oh, look at all this. Woo! Woo! I got all of these that I need to hatch. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably hatch some of these. Look at all this. Wow, okay, yeah. I, I really need to just get on this game and be like, free one, free one, free one, and put them all in. Because then at least they're hatched, and then I can sell them. Um, the thing is, though, if you keep them here, you might get it in the trade harbor to sell them, and you get more, I think, than half price. So the only problem with that is that doesn't happen anymore because the game was broken by people who decided not to make it fun. Uh, but... Uh, it's either a Dacoderma or a Leptostega. What do you think, guys? Leptostega's good. It has a little bit less attack and a little... Mm, but they're both level 30. They're both level 30. But I have loads of those. So, with that in mind... But we could get another one of those and get it to level 30. Okay, the chances are we've already got two more level 10s of this. The Leptostega. If I buy two more, we can make it level 40. Or at least have two level 30s, which is probably good. So I'm going to get one. Um, I don't think I can buy another one now, can I? Ah, damn. Well, at least we spent, a, what, 70, 80,000 DNA there? Not bad. Uh, but, oh, we need to hatch that to use it. Okay, well, anyway, that's that done. Um, let's do Monsters of the Deep, because it's only... Oh, it is four. It's four battles. God damn. Okay, so my best ones are mainly VIP creatures. Interesting. But if I got level 20 of that Mega Archelon, he'd be up here. Yeah, look at him. He's already level 10 and he's there. So what do we want here? We want uh, reefs, really. We want a reef and then a really good surface, like Tylosaurus. Because then Tylosaurus can kill the Dacrosaurus in one hit. In fact, if we're doing that, let's bait them. Um, let's go for a Leptoclidus. Actually, he might not swap out if that's the case then. But that's okay. As long as we have two good surfaces like that. And because like Tylosaurus is super weak. Their own Tylosaurus. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's try this. Uh, gonna go for reserve because he might attack me. Chances are he probably will. Yeah, he's gonna go for two. Okay, you fell straight into my trap, you fool. You're not dead in two. Are you? Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I meant for this to happen, so I kill that guy. The Dacosaurus comes in, has pitiful attack, uh, and he'll probably switch out. Yep, there we go. Brings in his own Talosaur. You gonna hit me? No, okay, well, I can kill you factoring in your one block, which you didn't use, but you're dead anyway. There you go. So, really, I could have used a better creature here, but it's more fun doing this. It's a bit risky. So, one, two. He's probably going to go for three. Yeah, he's, he's going to have to go for three to kill me. So, there you go. And then brings in Plotosaurus, which doesn't have a really great attack, but factoring in the type advantage. Oh, boy, it does. So, we kill it in two, and there you go. You only had one block. And there it is. Bam! 
So we used a really good creature, a terrible one, and an alright one. And especially when, you know, you're having to do four battles, you need something like this. You need to have that strategy. So we need cave. Right, but we want to bait out his own cave and then we can sweep. So we want a surface that's, you know, we'll force in the swap first. Something like Edustus, because they can't... Oh no, they can probably kill me. No, I don't want a surface. I want a, I want a reef. Sorry, okay, I want a cavern. So we'll have our own cavern and we'll go for a block. Therefore, we will survive when he switches into his. Then, um, oh, it's tricky. Really, we just want good caverns. That's all we want is good caverns. So uh, we'll use Gillicus and our own Dacoderma. So, oh, this one's tight. This one's really tight. So I'm going to go for a block just to make sure I survive. Vespidoma, you're going to switch out. I know you are. There it is. Oh, 2000 attack. 2020. Oh, that's great. It is 2020. Maybe it's not 2020 when are watching this. It might be 2100, in which case, probably dead. <laughs> Sorry to put a downer on it. This is an old game. What are you watching this for? YouTube's still going? Who's who's big now? Who's making the drama? Who's who's the dinosaur YouTuber? Is it my is it my is it my relative? That would be great to pass on. <laughs> is this channel still going? I'm long gone and dead in there, taking advantage of this channel. Ah, oh, it's horrendous. Okay, anyway, I think he went for two. I didn't see. So, with that in mind, I'm just gonna go for three and hope it kills him. It does kill him. Fantastic. Then we can nerf their attack. Bring them down to a pitiful 762. Sichi, is it? Si, nanayaku roku junen. I think. Roku junen. That's it. There we go. I can speak some Japanese in, in numbers. <laughs> so he went for an attack. Uh, pitiful. I'm going to go for two just in case because I wasn't paying attention. And we pretty much won here. Um, Fesvoderma probably has less attack. Oh, bless him. So he's going to go for one, two. He can kill me in three. So he's going to go for four, five, maybe? Four. I think he could almost kill me in two. So he's got two block. Um, we kill him in three. Yep. And then he's got two block, which he didn't even use. There you go. Bam. And this time I did use... It's not my best cavern, I don't think. Jillicus is my best cavern. But it's it's up there. Yeah, Orthocanthus is. Uh, the reason why... Oh, God, it does this. Oh, these are all tough. Oh, these are all tough. Uh, we're going to have to go all out here. We might have to spend books as well. Um, so, if I use Meg Archelon, he's going to switch his Archelon in. I will go for a block. Actually, ooh, it depends. I could go for reserve here. I think I could survive. Here we go. Mega Archelon. You can't... Okay, I'm going to go for reserve. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. I don't think I can be killed by Archelon in one hit. He will switch. There's the switch. 2,200. It was close. He didn't go for it, though. Yeah, coward. <laughs> uh, oh, he's only got two. Okay, so if you go for two now, this would be great. Ah, he doesn't. Okay, now because Mega Archelon... In this scenario, is my best, my best. The, the two creatures are going to win this is you, Moon, and the Dunkle. So, that's, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. All we need to do is take out this Archlon, and then my Dunkle hybrid can sweep them. So, he's got one block. So, and there we go. We got three, even. And there it is. Done. Bam! Take out the turtle. Brings in... Oh, my God! Ah! <laughs> the stuff of nightmares! Oh, God. Oh, really? You're going for me? Are you really? Well, you know what? Sodgy, I can kill you in one hit. One, factor in two, and then three reserves. So now Adustus comes in, and he's going to have to go for a lot to kill me. He has six. He can't kill me in three. One, two, three. He's going to have to... Yeah, whoa! He goes for six? All right, then. Well, there it is. So this last battle is... Oh, my God! What's going on with his teeth? Oh, they didn't rig that. They missed a poly. They forgot to paint the top of that vertex, vertex up there. So it's still stuck to the rig. Skin weights. They're a pain. I know I've done them. 
Uh, right. Okay. So. Oh, it's all cavern. Great. Damn, I used my best caverns. So, how much does it cost? 125 to get Hainosaurus back. Well, we're going to have to. Um, Plotosaurus. Hainosaurus. And then, ooh, do we risk it? Do we go for Styxosaurus and have more health? Or do we risk it and go for Xenathodon, which has less health, but almost double the attack? I think we got to do it. we got to go for the double the attack. Let's go. Oh, only 125 this has cost me. So I'm going to go for Reserve here because he's probably going to switch into that. Is that Nothodon? Oh my god. Looks kind of scary. Oh, it does a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna just going to... I'm going to go for this because once I kill this thing, which Hainasaur will probably do, um, it's a sweep. It's a risky sweep, but it's still a sweep. There we go. Done. He's got nothing, which means that I can kill him with the least amount of attacks. One, two, three... And then, uh, you know what? He will have three attacks. How much does Dunkelostius have? 1,300, half that, 600. Yeah, he can't kill me. He can't kill me. Famous last words, right? He can't kill me. Nah, he can't do it. He's, he'll do like 3,000 damage max at three hits. And he only did two. So he's got one block. Uh, one, two. Factor in one. And then four reserve. Could I have done this with Styxosaurus instead of Hainosaurus? Ah, maybe. I would have extended myself so much there. And then I would have killed it. He would have came and killed mine. And then it would have been... I, it's possible, actually. It's possible. Now, may as well go for it, right? We might as well go for eight. And BAM! Tail slap. And there we go. Now, there's a, actually, I think there's about 40% chance we'll get the Glacial Shift pack here. So, Ludia, have been very kind and uh, up that chance. But in this case, we didn't get it. We got Daytokaras. <laughs> but really, the main reason we do it is for that. The super DNA. Because those dinosaurs are just so good. If we get slowly towards another Interruptor, I can't complain. So, that's going to have to wrap this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Jurassic World, the game ain't dead. It'll be here until I'm dead. And then I'll, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll die then. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.